Welcome back, guys. Uh, today, I thought I'd take a little bit more of an in-depth look at <clears throat> the new Lubuntu 18.10. Now, as you know, Lubuntu for 18.10 is the first one to use the LXQT desktop. Now, as you know, I'm a big fan of LXDE. Not so much LXQT, but I thought I'd install it, take a look at it, see what it needed. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what they're giving you and some of the shortcomings and how you can get around some of those. Now it is going to take a little bit of work to get uh, Lubuntu 18.10 functioning properly on your desktop. And it really depends on what uh, drivers you have. So we're going to take a, a, a look f uh, at the first uh, thing that I think you guys would be interested in and namely what do they give you and what do they not give you okay so the release announcement Lubuntu 18.10 they give you a little bit of a rundown welcome to LXQT they give you some specifics about the release the Calamars installer uh, <clears throat> there is a manual and known issues and workarounds. No. So if you take a look at the known issues and workarounds, I'm not going to go through all of them, but the main ones, the main ones that I felt that I had to deal with was the um, drivers. Now, if you see here, we have not ported over the additional drivers tab. Now, that means that normally in Ubuntu, you'll click on the um, menu and you will find something called additional drivers and that's common in Lubuntu, Zubuntu. Most of their flavors make it easy to install drivers. But in this in this case, this 1810 Lubuntu with LXQT, that's not the case. So what you have to do, they give you some information here um, as a workaround, you can use the Ubuntu Drivers command line tool, but they don't really tell you how to use that. So I'm going to show you how to use that. And Ubuntu Drivers, by the way, the, the, the package they refer to is already installed. So if you run sudo Ubuntu Drivers Devices, it's going to ask for your password, and then it's going to determine what proprietary uh, devices you have and let you know what the driver is. So in my case I've got a Broadcom Wi-Fi. I have to install BCMWL kernel source. I also have an NVIDIA card so it's telling me I need to install NVIDIA driver 390. Now you can also run with the Nouveau driver which is the um, the free the uh, open source, but uh, I prefer for a variety of reasons to, to run with the NVIDIA driver, mainly for gaming, uh, NVIDIA driver 390. Now I went ahead and I installed those two and then I rebooted and everything worked properly. So that's good news, but again, you need to run sudo ubuntu-drivers devices. That will let you know what you have, and it'll tell you what drivers you need to install. Then you need to install them manually. Before you get into the de devices, the first thing you want to do is run your update. So if you run sudo apt update, apt upgrade. So if you run that, get that out of the way, then you can install your drivers. And one thing I would, I would recommend that you install, I'm going to give you a couple of packages that you should install to get all of the uh, codecs installed for your system. Now, there are two packages. There's one called Lubuntu Restricted Extras, okay? The other one is called Lubuntu 
restricted add-ons. Go ahead and install those two. Now, it's going to give you commonly used media codecs and fonts full Ubuntu. And the add-ons will give you commonly used restricted packages for Ubuntu. Now, if you're going to try to run, uh, you know, completely uh, open source, then you can choose not to install these packages. But you may have some issues with media, uh, video, audio, things like that. So it's entirely up to you, but I do uh, normally go ahead and install those packages. So let me install, and it's going to tell me they're, all, they're already installed. Okay, so once that's done, then if you want Flash, if you want to install Flash, I'll give you the, the command. It's sudo apt install flash plugin, all one word, dash installer. So that would give you Flash, which I have already installed. Now, one of the things that out of the box, um, and it, it really it's entirely up to you how you want to place new windows. I like to center all my windows, so that requires some configuration. Um, if you don't center the windows, the, the default uh, is smart placement. So it'll, it'll look for a free space on your screen and put the new window there. Some people like that. I just prefer to put everything in the center. If you want to center them, I'll show you how to do that. You're going to open your file manager. Uh, you're going to go to, I think it's .config, open box, the XML file, open it. I'm going to open it with, uh, you can open it with feather pad. I prefer leaf pad. And then all the way, if you just scroll all the way to the bottom, I'm going to show you the text. Okay, to, so to center new windows, let me show you the modification. Here's the file. That's the XML file. And this is what you need to add. And where I added that is just above this, the next to last line. So if I take a look at application type normal is the first line and applications after position. So this is what I added right there. I'm going to delete it. Okay, so that's what you'll be looking at when you open your, your XML file. And what you want to do is go above the next to the last line where my cursor is, and you're going to paste in this here and I will put that in the show notes so you can grab it if you want to paste that in so if I copy that and then paste it you can see that that's what you end up with save the file and when you open new new uh, files or new programs leaf pad is in the center. Uh, let's see. File manager. So they'll just continue to open in the center. That's the way I prefer. It's really up to you. But that's how you would center new windows. So that might be something you want to do right after you install. Now, the startup commands that you use are a little bit different in LXQT. So if you go to Preferences, LXQT Settings, LXQT Configuration Center, and go under Sessions, Session Settings. This is what you have, see? 
you've got your basic settings window manager is open box I wouldn't touch anything here um, your default applications you can change those user directories but this is where you want to auto start so I put Compton in I put Con Conky in I also put a screen tearing fix f for NVIDIA now if you have an NVIDIA card and after you install the drivers if you're still getting screen tearing I will show you what to put in so you're going to let me cancel this if you want to add a new command click on add you can give it any name you want but the command has to be specific and put into this box so the command for screen tearing fix let me see if I can okay so there's the command for screen tearing fix and I'll also put that in the in the settings uh, in the show notes so you'll have that and all you have to do is it basically it just enables uh, force it forces full composition pipeline so if you copy that paste it into a command to start up that normally gets rid of screen tearing for me so I will put that in the notes and you'll have that now the next thing is that I uh, I also put into the show notes uh, I'll, I'll also put into the show notes is a startup for Conkey and Conkey space dash lowercase p space one zero that basically puts a 10 second delay into your uh, Conkey startup so that everything else loads first the other thing is for Compton if you want to have your Conkeys show nicely like this without uh, any black windows I'll uh, I'll uh, put a link to my Compton configuration file and then your Compton startup command just has to reference the location so you can see my Compton startup command shows where my Compton configuration file is and that is under my home folder under config and there's compton.conf so that's my Compton configuration file I'll put a link to that and that will give you a nice clean conky with no lines no blocky windows it'll just show up on your screen like that so I'll give you a link in the show notes for that uh, configuration file okay so now the other thing is if you want to include third-party software in your uh, repos I'll show you how to do that actually you're going to go to system tools and move on package manager now then go to configure software sources put in your password <clears throat> go to other software and put a checkbox on canonical partners so that will enable you to access repos for third-party software now if you don't want that just don't check it off but I normally take advantage of that now once once I finish that of course my my install of L of uh, Lubuntu 18.10 with LXQT is pretty much finished uh, the driver is both the Broadcom driver and the NVIDIA driver installed perfectly. Uh, I really had no issues, but it's just a matter of getting used to it. Now, the LXQT settings, there are a lot of additional options available. I think LXQT is a little bit e easier to configure aesthetically than... LXDE. Everything is pretty much under the configuration center. It's, kind of, it's a little bit similar to what uh, XFCE has. Appearance, brightness, desktop, 
file associations, notifications, uh, open box settings, power management, monitor, session settings, which there are a lot of options in here. And that's where all of your startup commands will be. Uh, shortcut keys, window effects. Now, window effects is, is basically as a result of using Compton. Compton is installed. It's, it's not totally configured, but it is there where you can play with your window effects. Um, alternatives configurator, date and time. Uh, NVIDIA is there because I installed the driver. And as you can see, it's set up for 390.87. Printers, I had to go and install my printer. It did not find the printer driver. I had to manually set up the printer. I've got some videos. I have a brother printer that's pretty easy to set up, but it is, I have to set it up manually. And I've got a couple of videos on that. So if you search my videos and just um, look for brother, um, you'll find the instructions on that. And then users, you can set up additional users and groups. So that is the uh, Lubuntu 18.10 with LXQT. Uh, I still prefer LXDE, but this is the, I think this is the nicest implementation of LXQT that I have seen. So there's still quite a few issues that need to be dealt with and some common utilities such as drivers that are not available in this release. So they're still working on this. Uh, it's the 1810. I don't think I would consider it ready for prime time. I wouldn't use it as my daily driver at this point. But uh, if, you, if you like LXDE and you want to try out the LXQT, this is a good place to start. You can follow my instructions, get it set up the way you want. So guys, uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. By the way, thank you for all of the positive messages that you've sent. And guys, uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.